Hello YouTube, welcome back to SC Fish Keeping. Tonight, we are in front of the gulper tank, which can mean one of two things, or both, now that I think about it. We have had this fish for over a month, meaning it is time that I give you an update on the little gulper, and two, I owe you a care guide. So, stick around, I'm gonna show you a number of different things. I'm gonna give you the basics on keeping a gulper, I'm going to give you tips and tricks that I have picked up just in the one month that I've had this little guy that will ensure you have the healthiest gulper possible. And we're going to feed him, which is what most people seem to want on YouTube. So stick around to the end of the video where we feed him. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Enjoy. Alright guys, I went ahead and turned the camera around, turned off the lights to prevent any glare, and uh, decided that you'd probably rather watch this fish than watch me when I'm uh, talking about the fish. So, just kind of diving right into the scientific stuff. I'll warn you now, I'm about to butcher the scientific name, but Asterophysis batrachis. Batrachis. I don't know. I call it a gulper. That's easier for me to say. So, you can call it a gulper or Asterophysis batrachis. Whatever you want. It's up to you. Anyway, um,. Gulper catfish are a member of the wood catfish family. Um, they are found typically in the Amazon, which means they're a hardy fish. Um, they, water-wise, they prefer temperatures anywhere from 75 to 84 degrees. Mine right now is in 81.3 degrees, which, as you can see, he's very active. He's very healthy, and he's hungry. He's ready to eat. pH-wise, anywhere from 5.6 to 6.8. Um... They can reach sizes of 12 to 13 inches in the wild, but will rarely break uh, 10 inches in your home aquarium. Tank size-wise, a 40-gallon breeder is generally um, kind of regarded as the ideal size for one. You can keep multiple gulper gatfish. Uh, three to four, though, would require a tank size of about 75 gallons. Um, gulpers do not have any teeth in that big old mouth. Hopefully in some of the footage that I'm going to take later, you'll be able to see uh, they have like a sandpaper-like pad on their jaws for gripping hold of those feeders and then uh, pulling them in. Um, yeah, gulpers can live for about 15 years. So if you're thinking about getting a gulper, plan on being in it for the long haul. But let me tell you, it's worth it. Uh, gulpers are known for their relatively lazy, goofy personalities. Mine is actually very friendly. He uh, actually swims up to me at the glass, which I didn't expect. And uh, he likes to swim, it's a smaller filter, but he likes to kind of swim up in that current against it. And I joke he's exercising off that, uh, that big old belly. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and jump over to my uh, feeder quarantine tank. And I'm gonna tell you two useful tricks that I use to ensure that your gulper is getting the healthiest meals possible. Um, so enjoy those tips. Utilize them if you have a gulper or really anything that you use feeder fish for. I would recommend these two tips. And then when we come back, we're going to feed the guy. So stick around. All right, guys. So here we are at the little 10-gallon quarantine feeder tank that I was telling you about. As you can see, simple setup, no substrate, sponge filter, little heater. Keeps the tank at a steady about 75 degrees is what I have it set to. While we're here, I wanted to talk to you about two different concepts. Uh, the first one is the concept of gut loading. What gut loading refers to is taking a high quality flake food or frozen food and feeding your feeders about 45 minutes to an hour before you go and introduce them to your gulper or whatever else it is you're trying to feed your fish, your feeders to. Um, that 45 minutes is going to allow your feeder fish the time to absorb the nutrients of that high quality flake food and start to digest it and get it into their system. That way when you introduce the fish to the gulper, the gulper is going to be eating a fat, full, nutrient-rich feeder fish and absorb a lot of the nutrients from that fish that it wouldn't normally get just from eating the uh, feeder on its own. So I already fed these fish about 10 minutes ago, so in about a half an hour I'm going to come grab ones that I've identified as a good eater. That guy right there is still looking for food, so he's going to be one of my uh, first choices to try and net out of this tank. And uh, then we'll go drop it in the gulper tank. The second concept is quarantine your feeders. You wouldn't take a fish from your local fish store or your Petco PetSmart and just drop them straight from the tank at the store 
into your um, well-established community tank or whatever else it is. So I personally will take anywhere from a week to a month to quarantine my fish in this system, allowing me the opportunity to observe them, make sure they're healthy, give them a chance to eat, fatten up a little bit. But bottom line, it makes sure that I'm only giving high quality, healthy feeders to my gulper and I don't have to worry about introducing any kind of parasite or illness to the feeder with the food that I'm trying to give him. So between gut loading and quarantining my feeders, I know my gulper is only getting the healthiest, most nutrient rich feeders that I can possibly provide him. So in about 30 minutes, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna grab one or two of these fish. We're gonna take him over to the gulper tank and see if he feels like eating. So stick around and we'll do that right now. All right, welcome back to the gulper tank. Um, he of course decided to hide behind this pot because I stood up and went and grabbed the uh, feeder fish. So one of the other things that I was going to talk about in that intro but kind of forgot because I was excited to see if we can get him to eat, um, training your gulper. If you get a young gulper, they're not necessarily going to know to chase a feeder fish. Um, there's a couple different things you can do. The first couple things I did was I took a small pair of like tweezers like you would use for any kind of aquascaping tools and I dangled the fish in front of him and then would release the fish as he was starting to try and uh, go for it. So he got an idea that this is what he was supposed to eat. He kind of started to figure out he should be chasing him. The next step that I used was I took a small net Something about this size. I would show you doing it now, but he knows how to hunt and he knows how to feed. So I don't want to uh, revert back to when he didn't. But what I would do is I would put the feeders in and I would watch and see if he would chase him around. He knew that he was supposed to, but he was, I, I thought he was lazy. <laughs> so he wouldn't take him. So what I would do is I would actually take the net and I would scoop the feeder in. And then I would slowly kind of bring the feeder around towards his face and then just hold it there. Uh, a couple times he would bite the net, not sure what to do, but eventually he would swim into the net where the feeder was pinned and he would catch them on his own. Um, I only had to do this one or two times before I would drop a couple fish in there and then come in and he would be, they'd be gone. So without further ado, we're gonna take some feeders, we're gonna drop them in here, see if we can get lucky and watch them eat. Strangest part about the gulper. The fish in the stomach. So, you probably won't eat that other one tonight, which is fine, but I actually got it on camera. Of course it was while I was zooming back in, but we all got to see it. So there you have it guys. Uh, gulper catfish care, my tips and tricks to having a happy, healthy gulper and footage of it eating. So thank you for watching and uh, if you like this video please like, comment, and subscribe and uh, I will have another video out for you shortly. Thank you.